money. <laughs> this eh? um, is my daughter around. She's around. Is she here? She's around? Yes. Here, I'm banned on. In fact, over three months from now, I never see her leg here. Are you, are you sure? Yes, now. Because I've not seen her since yesterday. Ah? Yes. You haven't seen her? Yes. I hope all is well, though. Don't worry, Hamera, chase her. Eh? So you have to go to the police station now. Go and report to her so that police people will carry their van. They search, uh, in fact, search on front and back, left and right. Oh? It's been over a week that we discussed. You are yet to give me response. Hmm. Just shut up. Now, I'm giving you till 6 p.m. today. If you don't come with a good response, then you will know what a senator is capable of doing. Don't dare me. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. My daughter I, is here. I told you before that your daughter is not here. <laughs> eh? Okay, eh? No, madam, kidnap my daughter. Eh? Please tell her to release my daughter. That's all I want. Please, see, madam. Uh, no, ma. You have to go because I cannot permit you to go inside. Or oh. okay, if you are not going to go and tell her, let me pass. Eh? Her. See, no, ma. Don't allow me to lose this in my hand. If I lose it, it's so bad. 
Ah, uh, okay, so you want to beat me? Ma madam, go back. Please tell your madam to release my daughter. Oh, that's all I want. Impossible. Madam, madam, madam. 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 Madam, What's going on here? Uh, what am I doing? Nah, uh, Zara, uh, Zara, mm, um, uh, Zam's mother. Uh, she come here, come the knock, knock, knock. Come the cry. Come the tell me, say, they kidnap uh, uh, her son. But she don't work her. She don't work her. Her son or her daughter? Um, um, her daughter, her daughter. When did this happen? Eh? When did this happen? I, I don't really know. Martin, what's going on? What happened? Tell me. He said it was Norma Zam's mother. Okay. That Zam has been kidnapped four days ago. Jesus Christ. Kidnapped? Oh. Yeah, the worst part of it is that your fiancé threatened to kidnap her and she has done it. Excuse me. What is it? Wait, sir. How am I supposed to know where that dirty pig is? Excuse me. The person you call the dirty pig is a thousand times the woman in the never So where is she? I don't know. I am not her keeper. The very last time. Where is Sam? I don't know. And please stop making noise. I'm having a headache. Excuse me. Come on, Jeff. You want me out? That's what! You know what? I am calling my father. Fine, you go ahead and call your father. Because I'm sick and tired of this rubbish you call a relationship. Okay? I'm sick and tired of it. I don't love you. Okay? I'm not going to marry you. So go up there, pack your things, and leave my house. <laughs> You're right. I am going nowhere. You will marry me. Excuse me. I said pack your things and leave my house. This is my house. No! And that's an order. You will marry me. Excuse me. An order? Yes. In my house? Yes! Hello, sir. That's what happened, sir. She's lying. It's not something we'll discuss over the phone. Where are you, sir? All right, sir. I'm coming there in 10 minutes.
Jambale. Sir. Can you recall the first day we met? I remember, sir. Good. When I asked you whether you have someone, I mean a woman, in your life, what was your response? I said no. I told you I was single. I was focused on my business at that time. Good. <clears throat> so, why are you now telling me something different? Because I met her a day after I met you. And you didn't tell me what your requirement was. You should have told me. All right, fine. You told me you wanted me to marry your daughter. I accepted. And I left my girlfriend. Because as a man, your word should be your bond. Exactly. If as a man, your word should be your bond. Why are you not saying something otherwise? Sir, your daughter Cindy kidnapped Sam and her mother is shattered. Please, tell her to release Sam so that her mother can be fine. With all due respect, sir, I'm no longer interested in marrying your daughter. How dare you? How dare you open your mouth and tell me that you are no longer interested in marrying my daughter. After you've met her, you'll be sleeping with her. I did not sleep with her, sir. I did not. I have never touched your daughter. She tried all she could to get me to sleep with her. It didn't work out because I have no feelings for her. Chambale. Sir. So. Marry my daughter and your dirty girlfriend will be released. Reject my daughter and your dirty girlfriend. Your business, they all be things of the past. Excuse me. This demand is so high I am in confusion This is no love It's a Who's there? Which one? The demand is so high I'm not going to be scared My daughter is inside now I'm not going to be scared I'm not, I'm not going to open this gate for you because I have told you that you won't enter this gate because of the instructions. I want to gate now. Say so what? Open this gate. I, I should open gate. You see, if I open this gate, it will be on your head. Do you want me to lose my job? Don't worry, let it be on my head. Okay? Eh? This head don't carry a lot. Chief, let me open this gate. I'm tired of this job. Sam is missing. Sam is missing. Oh, Sam is missing. Yo, young master's wife is threatening. Young master's wife is threatening that she will kill my daughter Sam if young master visits again. Young master suddenly came to my shop. I even drove him away. I pushed him away, and then. I don't even know where to start from again. Oh, I'm no. just so tired. Calm down, calm down, please, calm down. Okay, so the other day I went to church yeah. only for me to meet the shop locked and an empty house. But it seems that they have not 
missing Zam with my yeah, eye. Zam is missing. Zam is missing. I believe that Zam is inside this house. Hey, missing Mama, have you tried to speak to the police? At least let's talk to them. I have talked to the police. They said they have no information about what we are about. Me and me, baby, your mother. Who is this mad woman shouting in my house? My dear. I beg you. Please. Just release my daughter. Even if her, she's dead, just give her. Give me her body. Let me go and bury my daughter. I beg you. Please. Please. I beg you. Please. I... Woman, I am not a murderer. I, I, I know you are not my child. Oh, I'm, I'm no, sorry. Don't, 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 I know you're not my child, but please release my daughter for me. I beg you. Whatever we have done, I am sorry. Because Could you get your filthy hands off me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't touch you again, but please just please. release my daughter. I beg you, please. Whatever we have done, I'm sorry. Please. I beg you, please. Excuse me. Please let me beg. I beg you. Please. You poor people. You're very stubborn. They give you simple instructions. You don't obey. I, I, and now, measures have been taken. You're I, here, crying and pleading. I, I obeyed it though. I obeyed it. It's just that young man's that game. I even chased him away. <laughs> if he comes, you can ask him. <laughs> I chased him away. Please. Please, don't, Lisa, please, please, like, don't, please. I beg you. I beg you. What's going on? What's going on? Sounds like I've missing. I beg you. Just release my daughter. <laughs> Let me ask your wife to release my daughter. <laughs> I, I told her that when you came to the shop, I, I, I just stay away. Oh. I just stay away. Did I not just stay away? Please let me tell her that I did not allow you to stay in the shop. How can you allow a woman who's old enough to be your mother to kneel before you? What's wrong? Please. Did I ask you to kneel? No, sorry, please, ma'am. Please go, please go. My daughter, she must be suffering whatever she is. Because please, release my daughter. I beg you. Whatever we have done, have mercy. Forgive me, okay? I went to see the senator today. He said I must marry his daughter for Sam to be released. Marry her. Thank you. Maria, please. I can't. Just release my daughter. I can't. Zam will be heartbroken. I can't. Please. Zam is two and a half months pregnant. And, and huh? she must be suffering wherever she is. And yes, I am. You know, she's, she's my, my, my only child. The only child I have. The baby cannot suffer. I mean, she huh? must be tortured. Zam is pregnant. You know, she's yes, all I have. Pregnant. Somebody told me. Please, I need them both alive, young master. I beg you, have mercy upon me. I am sorry, whatever I have done, have mercy. Young master, please. Let's go to the senator. Hey, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. You dare not! Hey! You dare not move on it! Thank you, sir. He said, let's go. Thank you, sir. Open that gate. If you open it, open it. Listen, open it. 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 Nobody's going anywhere! Nobody! Nobody's going anywhere! Nobody's going anywhere! Nobody's going anywhere! I said, you're going over here! No! You're going over here! No! Don't! Close the gate! Nobody's leaving here! You are going nowhere! Nobody's going anywhere! 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 Nobody's What is the problem? Dad? Talk to me now. What is it? Come on. Is it not obvious?
Dad? It's Cindy. Cindy again? Huh. Dad, I've told you to forget about Cindy. Why are you worrying yourself about Cindy? Stop! If Cindy doesn't want to change, allow her! What is all this? Do you know what is at stake here? Do you? What alternative do we have? What alternative? You two know each other. Where have you been? I've searched everywhere for you. Well, I had to leave. When I found that, that it would be good that you marry that rich man's daughter. So that you can pursue your dream. Come on, Norma. Norma. You know, you were everything to me. Yes, I married her, but it didn't last more than four years. Well, let's leave that for now. What brings you to my home? Well, please, can you help me? Ask your daughter Cindy to release my daughter Chizaram. I beg of you, that's why I'm here. Please. Wait. You mean Chizaram is your daughter? Well, I, I, I was two weeks pregnant. And I had to leave town so that I just allow you to pursue your dreams. But please. I'm here to say, just help me beg your daughter. I need she's a Please. You're getting me confused here. You, you mean you were pregnant for me? And she's around is my daughter? Yes. Please, can you just ask her to release she's around? She's two and a half months pregnant. And she's not supposed to be tortured in her condition. She's pregnant for Chamberlain. Please, I beg of you. Please. My God. Yes. My God. My God. Hold on. Cindy. Yes. Uh, please. Release that girl immediately. Yes. And please. Don't let anything happen to her. Okay? Yes. All right. Thanks. Thank you. No more. I need to go now. Please, please. I am sorry for everything. It's fine. I'm truly sorry. I actually searched for you. Please forgive me. Thank you. If I see you anywhere around this vicinity, I showed you. 
You are dead. Do I care? I don't care. Wow. What a great family I have here. Today is a very special day for me. I asked myself, I mean, what did I do that made God to give me this special privilege? No, ma. I want to thank you so much for coming back into my life, particularly for having a very open heart to accept me back after the forgiveness that you gave me. I love you. Thank you. Cindy, Cindy, Cindy. What a God we serve. You know, I was in my bedroom and I was thinking, what would I have done if you had, uh, you know, something with Chamberlain? <laughs> and I said, yes, God loves me so much, you know. Uh, and uh, thank God, Chamberlain, you are still my in-law. Courtesy of my wonderful daughter, Chizara. Chizara, thank you so much. Thanks for forgiving me, my lost but found daughter. What a beauty. <laughs> and uh, Chamberlain, I want to thank you. I'm thanking you because you have demonstrated high level of integrity. I mean, with all this scheming between my daughter and I, you were able to stand your ground. And today, you are also marrying or going to marry my daughter. And um, the main thing that, you know, prompted us into doing the bad things that we did. God has given it to us in the platter of gold. Thank you so much. Alfredo! Yes. <laughs> My right hand man. Oh, yes. You were always on ground to comfort me, to console me, and to advise me. <laughs> Thank you so much. And um, as God will have it, our relationship with the minister, the incoming president, yeah. is intact by this union between you and uh, our beautiful and wonderful wife. So, with all this, you will agree with me that today is indeed a special day, not just for me, but for all of us. So I want to thank all of you for being there for us. So now I want to end by proposing a toast. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Let us toast to union and reunion. You know what I mean? We toast to long life, prosperity, you know. I like using the word longevity, even though I've said uh, <laughs> long life. <laughs> I won't miss it, uh, yeah. you know. So we'll continue to work stronger, both in politics and um, whatever, whatever. So three happy chairs. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. Hip, hip, hip. Hooray. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> it's not time for you to kiss the pride, my friend. Oh. <laughs> 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 <laughs>